Hey, what's up? I'm stoked to be teaching you today. Many requests for this, um, and I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. Anyway, the, the beginning, we're going to learn the beginning to Metallica's one. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my first finger on the second fret of the A string, and my ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string. So it looks like a power chord, just like that. Okay, but I'm going to play them individually like this, just like that. Then back to the first note again, just like that. Check it out. Then I'm going to take my ring finger off, and we've got to be able to hear this D string open. A trick, I, uh, I've seen it tricky for some students where they block this note here with this finger, not on purpose. So you got to make sure you leave enough room to hear this open D string. So here's what we have. Check it out. Then it does it again. No, it doesn't, actually. Let me take that back. It doesn't do it again. It does that once. Okay, it almost does the same thing. Um, I think for most beginners, it'll be easiest for you to put your first finger on the third fret of the E string here. And then your ring finger is actually going to be in the same spot and do the exact same thing as the other riff, okay? So then we go like this. Then the first one again. Then the open. So it alternates between those two things. Check it out. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the first one again. Then now, here's a new one. Ring finger still on the fourth fret of the D string, but nothing there. And you play the same move as the first one, but with the open A string instead of your finger there. So check it out. First one again, then open A string, then what we normally do is the second one, and then a little tag. We're going to go like this, first finger on the second fret of the A string, we're going to play the low E string, then the A string like this. And then I cover the second fret on the E string and the A string, and I play both of those. So it looks like this. Right into this again. You know, and that's when the... And those beginning solos of one are um, some of the videos that I send when you sign up for Guitar Jams uh, that aren't on YouTube, my solos for uh, the song one. All right, let's go over that little intro again. Check it out. Here we go. First one again, a new one, the second one normally, and then a little lick. And then it starts over again with the solo going and, you know, fancy, lots of fancy stuff. So that will be... Um, kind of, you know, what we're thinking of as part one right now of one. Uh, I'm going to skip to the uh, 
Hold my breath as I was for dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do there is we're going to learn this power chord thing. It sounds like this. <laughs> That's another, you know, catchy part that's not too difficult. There's a couple difficult parts of the song. You know. Uh, so, here we go. I'm going to teach the rock, the rock out cookie monster vocal part. Um, now, it's almost all dots. This is how I've taught it to beginners. It's almost all the dots. There's two times where it's not a dot. Um, so, we're going to go like this. Starting on the third, we're going to go dot, dot. Da, da, da. Check it out. All dots. With power chords, of course. You know, my guitar setup's more for blues, so excuse the non metal sound, but. Uh, so then, half step below that dot. So we go to the second fret. So watch. Dot, 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 dot. No. I'm just going to say no for no dot. Dot, 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 no. Then all the way to the 7th fret, which is a dot, to the 5th. Dot, dot. So here's what we have so far. And from there, we're going to go dot, 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 dot. From here, from the fifth fret, we're going to go dot, 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 dot. And all the way up to the ninth fret, which is a dot. Dot. And then finally, the tenth fret, no. Check it out. So that should get you going. Um, I suspect if you uh, want to learn more of that tune, which you probably will, you're going to have to request it. I'm going to have to see a lot of requests because I'm you know, balancing all of your requests out there. Uh, but anyway, it's been a lot of fun. Guitarjams.com. More coming soon, all right? Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you later.